Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Or oh, whoever watching me first time, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm coming to you with my monthly favorites video. I can't believe it's end of June though. That's crazy. Um, I'm gonna start as usually with my favorite cosmetic products I discovered recently. It's, uh, it came in this, um, I ordered it from guilt.com, guilt or no, sorry, Rulala. And it came in this cosmetic bags, bag. And honestly, <laughs> I kind of purchased it for this cosmetic bag. Um, it's a um, canvas uh, with a white canvas with a red uh, zipper and yellow kind of very nice yellow detail here and it came with four products from Clarins these four products you can see I used it a lot so while I like all of them I like all of them um this is cleanser this is tonic serum and eye makeup remover I'm including I'm just showing you all of them because they came all together, but I want to talk about these two. So this is double serum. Oh my God, that's a, such a good thing. For some reason, I don't know where have I been, but I started using serum very recently and I couldn't find the right one. And basically, accidentally, I discovered a right serum for me. This is Clarence Double Serum. You can't tell how much I used it. I don't remember. I bought it, I believe, end of May. And I use it in the morning and at night. I use it right after tonic because um, I was told that it gets uh, absorbed best after um, tonic. So my skin is usually very dry and dull. So, and I, I lack of that glow. I don't know if you can see glow on me now, but you can see a little sheen here and here. And this is this. So I cleaned my face. I cleansed it with, I cleansed it with this first. Then I cleansed it with tonic. And right after tonic, I put serum and wait a little bit until I put everything else. And that glow shines through any makeup you put over it. First of all, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. It glides over your skin. Whoa, whoa. It's serum. And it's just so pleasant and so, I don't know, just it makes me feel good. And my skin did not look better ever think so again it always looked like dull a little bit like very dry dull not glowy I never had that glow like some other people ha now I do have a glow with this serum so highly highly recommend obviously you I'm pretty sure I didn't research yet but since I'm gonna continue buying it and obviously I'm not gonna buy it again within this little package I'm gonna buy it separately I'm pretty sure you can uh, but highly, highly recommend if you are using serums. I mean, for me, it's the best serum I ever used. Now, another little thing from the same package, this eye uh, makeup remover. Waterproof and heavy makeup. See how much left? I have to order it also full size. Smells heavenly again. See, for me, smell is very important. As I, as I said before, it could be the best product ever, but if it does not smell good, I cannot bring myself using it. So this smells just heavenly. A little bit, uh, very light smell, but very, very, very pleasant smell. And it does remove, it's very gentle eye, uh, eye makeup remover, but at the same time, it removes waterproof, uh, and heavy makeup probably have to go over a few times but it does remove 
it very well. I'm also gonna reorder it full size. I think this, I think these three products came in full size, but I doubt this is a full size. I mean, it's 30 milliliters, one ounce. So I'm gonna try to find it in bigger size. Okay, that what has to do with my makeup favorites for June. And again, like this pouch. My next favorite is this little guy right here. Yes, I've been using it a lot lately. And what I keep here, kind of like, um, not necessarily makeup. I have my little hand cream here. I have uh, tissues. I have, um, you know what it is, and uh, feminine products. I have a um, couple of band aids. I have um, a Perel, a sunny hand sanitizer, and I have this guy here, which is cuticle rehab. Again, I have I have dry everything. Okay, so my cuticles are very dry. So I'm literally daily put this thing it's sally hansen cuticle rehab on my cuticles because if they get too dry they st I, I start picking on them and then it gets painful so basically that's what i keep here constantly so i know it's here and i'll just move it from back to back sometimes i add my head um phones in here as well it doesn't really matches my contents but still so really like this little um uh, little pouch it's louis vuitton cosmetic uh toiletry 15 it's the smallest out of three as you remember i have all three but it looks like i've been using this a lot very convenient i like that it stands like that and i just transfer it from back from one bag to another now my favorite bag of the month is probably saw it in my other videos. Yeah, I've been using it nonstop since I got it. And my um, insert from my Goyard fits perfectly here. And I actually, this is not some orga, this is very cord this is uh now i keep buying some orga but this is uh, also good very good insert and i actually compared this one this one i ordered for my uh goyard and i have the same one but in red for my another neverfull in damier ben in red color and they're literally identical so i'll just transfer it from goyard to this one if Previously, Goyard was my go-to tote to run around uh, because never full Damier Ben. I'm mostly used for traveling. Now I kind of switch from Goyard to this one. Love, love, love it. And um, if you didn't check my um, reveal video about this Mon Monogram um, bag, uh, check it out. I feel like this this stripe makes such a difference. It's a black and white. You cannot see black well on camera, but uh, 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 in a real life you can see it's black and white. And the initials are in a white, are they? Yes. And I think they have black shadow. Yeah. And, and also my pouch loving this too but i don't like it to have it attached to the bag i feel like it gets on the way a lot so i if i use it separately i uh as a wristlet which i've already done um i use it with that uh, part if i keep it in the bag i keep it like this like normal pouch because when it's attached to the bag it's kind of always on the way for some reason so love 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 my mon monogram highly suggest uh, if you know you're never gonna resell this bag i highly i highly suggest to personalize it it's it's it sets you um because there are a lot of those bags out there basically every person has it which 
shouldn't matter anyway but if you want like set your bag aside from just personalize it and it gives i just i just love it but of course it's gonna cost you more money so if gm never full um regular price is 1400 dollars plus tax so this cost me um another like almost 500 more so this cost me 1890 dollars obviously plus tax all prices i uh tell you they are before tax because everybody has different tax in different states countries or whatever so i'm always um telling you prices before taxes so personalizing is um almost 500 dollars more and apparently before i saw they just take a bag and just like paint it over apparently that's not the case with mon mono it's actually bag is made for you from the scratch and um it took i think like six weeks to do so very happy i know i'm never gonna resell it well who would want my initials anyway but um i, I know i'm gonna use it to the to death i mean I just love those bags. I like, I like never, love never falls. Okay, so this is my another item. Now, a lot of, not a lot, <laughs> two items uh, from my favorite lips I'm actually wearing. So this is this uh, Bulgari bracelet, which I've been like using nonstop. It's because it's kind of a neutral, um, I think it's a lizard it's not a snake that's how you let me show you. it's a lizard and it has a snake head and actually it has a green animal here which is kind of goes with my dress and um i've been using it a lot it's kind of a little bit understated bracelet in terms it's no obvious logos or anything and uh even though bulgari it bulgari is not not that popular probably um like chanel and hermes but it's very nice um kind of quiet little bit bracelet but um still gives you uh, lifts your outfit and everything and last but not least is this dress i'm wearing okay so i'll show you the i'm gonna stand up i show you full dress but let me just tell you this is zara this is recent it's not part of the sale though and i'm afraid it's gone from online you might still find it in the stores it's not part of the sale again this green it's only green which suits me it's called i think that's what they call emerald green and no other greens look good on me uh but this is only one which suits me and of course i bought this dress for the color um okay let me show you guys yeah so all buttons all the way down i opted for a uh, a large size even though medium fit me also but it was too snug that's not the look i wanted so i opted for a large size and uh love it love it you dress it up a little bit and you can go out uh with this dress and um you dress it down and it's just your regular summer dress okay i guess this is am i missing something i feel like i'm missing something no i think this is it for my um june favorites and um i want to show you something see that over there so i'm kind of pre-packing um for my bermuda trip which is coming up uh so packing video is due uh, I'm going to show you how I pack and what I pack. Um, I'm not going to do much shots because you will see all those outfits from my Bermuda vlog video because I will be obviously wearing them. So I'm just going to concentrate how I'm packing 
and what I'm packing. Um, a lot of Zara stuff there. I probably should do like my Zara vlog, not necessarily recent items, but I, I just realized I have a lot of a lot of Zara stuff. Everything, basically everything I wear is, is a Zara, mostly Zara. Yeah, so packing video in order. And thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you like this video, please press like, um, comment if you wish. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you like um, uh, luxury videos, um, that's the kind of videos I uh, like to make and some vlogs also. Um, for my lower viewers, thank you very much. Love you a lot. Um, and I'll see you soon in my next video, which is probably going to be packing video. Okay, bye guys.